So this is my take on modifying this Ford Peasant knife. So here's the knife out of the box. I bought this Ford Peasant Mini. The box says, available only to first class peasants. Are you good enough? Well, we'll just have to see. So here's the knife as it, as it was when I bought it. The blade's pretty rough, and the handle's just made out of plastic. There's the other side. So first things first, uh, I unscrewed the Chicago screws. And then there's a, a pin built in between the handles to keep the, hand, to keep the blade from spinning around. I popped that pin out. So there you see all the parts all separated. I took the green plastic handles and I traced them onto some cherry wood. And then I just used my jigsaw to cut them out rough. And then my plan was to get them uh, matched together. So I clamped them together and used my drum sandal on my drill press to sort of match sand them together. So here I am sanding uh, the one edge. Uh, I was using the, the pencil line as a guide to, to keep me on track. Here's a shot of that side sanded. And then I flipped the C-clamps around, and I repeated the same process on the other side. Here I am doing that with my uh, drum sander on my drill press. You can probably do this by hand. I just found this to be a quick way to, to sand them to size and also to make sure they're matched. And then here's a here's a shot of them uh, sanded on that side. So the next step was to to drill the holes for the Chicago screws. So I taped them together, marked the holes uh, from the the green plastic handles. I drilled the pinhole through the green plastic handle so that I could accurately mark that on the inside of the new wooden handles. And then uh, I put it all together. Uh, you see, I I was able to uh, get the Chicago screws inset by using a uh, Forstner bit to sort of make a counter bore. And there's the other side. And I just kind of tested for function, make sure it opened and closed the way I wanted it to. And then I wanted to add a, a shell case for an inlay on each side. So I took a brass shell case uh, and I used my Dremel with a cutoff wheel to cut the end of the case. And then I'm going to use a Forstner bit to make a make a counter bore in the in the handle to fit the case. It worked out nice that since I'm using 357 Magnum, the 3 8 uh, Forstner bit works perfect to make it inlay. So there it is, put together all rough. Uh, this is before I did any sanding to round the edges and contour the the, the handles, and that's also the blade just rough. So then I did a bunch of sanding. I finished the cherry wood with ballastol, and then I polished and sharpened the blade. I chose ballastol for my finish because that's a good finish for the wood. It's a good finish for the metal, and it's something I can keep applying. Uh, there's your finished product. Blade came out really nice and shiny. I was uh, really happy with uh, the the way the wood the ballastol made the wood look. There it is from the other side. There's the peasant mini closed. Thanks for watching.